you a couple of ramifications here. Side lunge. So instead of going front to back, we're going to go side to side, working completely different muscles. Okay. You'll, you will get a comfortable spacing of your feet as you do this a handful of times. You'll know where you want to be here. I'm going to start by going to, to my right. Okay. When I go to my right, not a surprise to you now, we're going to be focusing on the rear end muscles. So you're going to stick that rear end out as far as you can as you're coming down. Now, as most trainers and therapists will say, we want that kneecap not forward of the toes. So your knee is not forward of the toes. Obviously, the further you go back, the more rear end muscles you're going to get, which is what you want. Okay? And you want the kneecap about in the center of the foot. So you want it about off the second toe is what a lot of people say. Not inside of the foot, not outside of the foot. Again, you'll see that knee is going to line up over the foot like this. But notice I've got a nice tall spine. I'm really sticking my rear end out, really making it a, a, a gluteal exercise than anything else. I'm going to hold and then I'm going to come out of it slow. And once again, when I am pushing out of that, I'm really pushing on the heel, not the forefoot, not the toes. I'm pushing out of it on the heel. Let's try it on this side. I'm going to sink down like this. I'm going to look down at my alignment. I can see that the knee is over the toes there. Okay. Rear end is really sticking far out. I'm pulling up that spine nice and tall. And now I'm holding. Now when I come out of it, I'm pushing through the heel, pushing through the heel. And there we go. With my right knee, I've got some kneecap-itis, whatever you want to call it, patella tendonitis, chondromalacia patella, and so on and so forth. So if I don't do these exercises correctly, I will feel it in my knee. But if I come down into this nice tall spine, going slow, making sure the knee is over the toes, the rear end is sticking out far, I don't feel anything in my knee at all. When I push through the heel, pushing through the heel, push, push, push through the heel, nothing. Very clean, no irritation in my knee whatsoever. Seeing it from the side, so you can see that alignment, let's say I'm coming off here to the side, and we'll do this again. Coming down here, coming down, pushing the rear end. Look at how far I'm pushing the rear end backward like this. It makes it more of, again, a rear end exercise than it is a quad exercise. Spine is nice and tall, nice and tall, driving. And then watch this. I'm pushing through the heel when I come back up, pushing through the heel, completely clean. Feels totally fine on the knee, which is, which is great. <clears throat> Instead of going down, coming up, going down, and coming up. Watching from this side, same thing. As I'm coming down, Right, I'm looking at my knee alignment, but once again, look at how far back that rear end is. Far back, nice and tall spine. I'm really elongating through here. And when I push out of that, it's through the heel, definitely the heel. I can even lift my toes up there, pushing through the heel, and there we go. Once again, you only have to do one or two per side. Hold it to your tolerance, and you'll get all the burn in the legs that you're looking for without having to go up and down and up and down, which risks your lower back and your knees from aggravation. So that is called a, a side lunge and hold or a safe lunge.